Hi there, this is Kalyan Varma. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enhance the look and feel of any dashboard in Excel CS 2008. A dashboard with 100% functionality and without proper visual appeal is only half job done. So improving the look and feel of the dashboard will enhance user experience and at the same time, define a workflow to the entire dashboard. In Excel CS 2008, you have a variety of options to choose from to change the look and feel of the dashboard based on your organizational requirements like colors, fonts, and etc. At the same time, you can use a combination of components uh, to increase the visual aesthetics of any given dashboard. All Excel CS components uh, come with appearance tab. Uh, which gives you more options to enhance a given component. At the same time, uh, it also comes with some background components and image component uh, in order to give some, you know, some accent to the existing, uh, existing components on the dashboard. In this example, as you can see, I have a very bland uh, dashboard with a map, a few charts, a grid, and a legend. If you observe, there is the first glance you cannot define the workflow you, the user would not understand where to click how to go about it where to look for information and also uh, you know it it's it's one single plain uh, canvas on which you just dropped in a few components and mapped it to some data uh, it would have been a better uh, dashboard if everything is defined and visually appealing we're gonna see how we can do that by looking at one of the templates which come with Excelsius 2008. But before that, let me show you some of the options uh, in Excelsius 2008, how you can select these options to change the look and feel of your dashboard. First of all, uh, let's uh, switch our focus to the themes. In Excelsius, you have a variety of themes to choose from. Um, at this moment, you have nine themes to choose from and based on the requirement you can and and the uh, uh, visual appeal you can always select whatever you want to and also you have a variety of color schemes to choose from you can choose uh, any of these color schemes or you can come up with your own color scheme by clicking on custom color scheme you can define your own color scheme name it and it will be added uh, to your colors so i just named it custom one so i should be seeing custom one on the top so you see the custom one on the top so similarly you can define um, or create your own color schemes to apply directly for any new dashboards at the same time you can always uh, use a variety of components to change the look and feel of your of your dashboard so if i go into my components i have a variety of art and backgrounds these are custom components which i installed uh, excelsius come with uh, set of standard backgrounds and also uh, other components with which you can enhance the look and feel of your dashboard for example an image component so in this case uh, there's one point to note that all themes might not have all components some themes are missing few components some themes might have some extra components so be careful while switching themes you might lose uh, uh, some uh, you might set the component to its default stage if you change theme. So be careful while uh, switching themes. And every component like a map component or, or a chart component, any component has, uh, all components have appearance tab. So always go to appearance tab to look for various options for that specific component. And also you have uh, custom components to build in Adobe Flex, which you can always leverage to uh, increase the visual appeal of your dashboard. In this case, so let's go ahead and quickly uh, preview what we have at hand and see how it looks. So when I preview, as I told you, it looks very bland. Uh, the user doesn't know where to go. There is no workflow. There is no visual appeal. So let's uh, quickly switch to the original dashboard. So we just switched to the modified dashboard. The one which you saw earlier was a before version of it. Now let's uh, 
see the after version of it if you see it's the exact same dashboard but with few uh, options with few components with few tweaks you see how we achieved a better looking dashboard than the one which we had earlier basically if you observe we have few background components uh, and there is an image component with a map and we carefully aligned it behind the actual map component so that it gives you a terrain look here and also we have a background component if you see uh, we have a background component which gives you that accent and it defines the frame so that the user knows where to start and also if you see there is a definite workflow for this dashboard now so the user will immediately know that they have to click on the map to see the charts change so let's do a preview and see so the user will know that they have to click on the chart to see the workflow so not just the visual appeal but also it defines the workflow that's the main point of uh, enhancing the look and feel of your dashboard and on the right for the charts we have a background component uh, at the same time we also have enhanced the look of the data grid on the bottom here it's a simple spreadsheet component However, the trick here is, if you look at the spreadsheet view, the spreadsheet component takes the properties and the formatting of uh, the underlying Excel spreadsheet cells. So if I change the colors of uh, this particular data here, automatically, the data grid or the spreadsheet component is going to change its colors so whatever color you want to show uh, on the dashboard you can always set it in Excel and map the spreadsheet component to that data so overall uh, you can improve the visual aesthetics of any dashboard with few options in Excelsius um, I would encourage you to use backgrounds images and also the appearance properties of each and every component. Thanks for watching.